I think I exploded. <laughs> I don't think I was that close to death. Try again. I knew this camp was either going to be story related or very difficult just because it's forcing me to do it. I think this is kind of sort of supposed to be the tutorial for these camps. Like the first one was an oil pump camp. This one is a uh, different kind. So I think this is like supposed to be the introduction to this type of camp. And that's why the game's forcing you to do it. But I feel like I'm very underpowered right now as far as all my weapons go and shit. And it's not going my way because of that. Also, I just realized I walked right past this before and didn't do it. Not that it would have mattered because I died anyway, but... There we go. Alright, can I just go this way? I can. Come on, boys. Run, 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 run. It's over, Wester. Drink. Okay. Not today. Jesus. Okay. So assuming if that guy was telling me the truth, which let's be honest, I probably shouldn't assume that. Uh, he was the last guy. Maybe not in the whole camp, but for that particular fight, I guess. I'm pretty sure that's exactly what happened as I blew up because that is a lot of gas tanks. Just chilling over there and they pushed me into the wall. Over there somewhere, so yeah. I'm gonna assume that's what happened. Yeah, I'd say that's why I died. You know what I think? I think I remember this place. My original playthrough, I think I came in here very later in the game, like with upgrades and stuff. And I had a lot more shotgun ammo and stuff like that, so it was just a lot easier for me to uh, get through here. And I just came into that area and immediately opened fire with the shotgun. And an enormous explosion happened, killing everyone in that fight. And I had no clue what the fuck happened. I don't know if this will work. I'm going to test theory here. <gasps> Will that break that? It absolutely does. Awesome. Alright, so let's break this. I think this is the last one. Yep, there it is. Alright, rook nest. Oil transfer camp dismantled. Alright, still got a bunch of stuff to find here. Uh, another insignia, one more scrap, and one history relic. So we'll do that real quick. And then... We can see what's next. Also, I probably should go back to Jeet's territory. I bit my lip just now. It hurt a lot. Alright, Gutgash has a new story mission. Nothing there. There's the insignia. 
Ooh, there's some something. I don't remember what this is. Scrap. It's just scrap that I have to open with a crowbar. Alright. There we go. Alright, so all we have left is the history relic, which I don't really need to get necessarily. I just kind of want to. So I need to figure out where that is. I just love hearing Max's monologues. I really do. Such a good character. For someone who doesn't really actually that actually, you know, that word that is actually a word and not uh, something that my brain decided to make up on the spot. Um, okay, nothing here. I guess maybe down the entrance to the camp area. There might be something. But, um... Like, for a character that doesn't talk all that much during the actual story, Max is great in terms of, like, how he's portrayed by the actor. I don't actually know who voiced him. Luxuries. Okay. Oh, I did the thing. That's what happened. Continue. Somebody's cooking something. I'm already day lizard level 8. I have 8 more Griffa tokens. Those things are literally like, it's impossible to not have 12 of them at a time. Alright, got plenty of scrap and stuff and loot to pick up here. Should I need it later? Actually, you know what? You know what I do need? Most likely? This thing. This thing right here. Where did I park my car? There it is. Is that where I left it? It wasn't facing that way. Chum, I know you've driven the car. Your radiator's in bad condition. Drink something at least. I'm trying. Uh, you see that the problem is those people had no water. And after I murdered them all, I couldn't ask them if they had any anywhere else. Uh, how do I store it? X. Alright, there we go. Got a little bit of gas so that I won't run out. Now, I need to know where I'm going next. Let's see, gut gash. Yeah, see, I, I don't have... Where's the armory? Ashes to ashes. So I have to do a mission to get his armory as well. If it's the next one, why not? <laughs> I think they said it's a story mission though, so it's probably not going to be. Actually, I can take a shortcut here, and I'm going to, because I'm lazy. And I'd rather risk the life of the car than taking 17 hours to get somewhere. Turns, but nothing's exploding this time, including me. Whoa, what was that? Am I seeing things, or did that actually come through on the video? Because that was kind of creepy. Yeah. Hey guys, I guess. doing it. I'm going home to one of my many homes. I want to say there's... I want to say there's three. And I know that the last one is uh, in a uh, cooling tower for like a nuclear facility. I think. And then I think that there is a fourth one technically, but no one actually owns it. Like it's in Gas Town and you have to use it. To, like get it yourself or something like that? I can't remember. There might be a fourth person. I don't know. Oh, here it is. I told you this was gonna happen. Please! 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 The child. 
It's the burning sickness. The fan. Give it to me quickly. Come on. Just let me heal her pain, please. Don't mess around with that stuff. Don't touch the merchandise. Yeah, she becomes a big plot point. And her name is Hope. That somehow Max knows. Alright. What do you want? So, killer. Little Count Carburetor says you need to bust through the jaw. I'm going to Gastown. Sure you are. Now me, I know a lot about Gastown and the jaw. I trade goods in and out of there all the time. You want something? Say it. Ain't no sweet talking you, is there? All right. I seen that harpoon device of yours. Not bad. He's a little something extra, though. Sort of a final flourish, let's say. And that's where you come in. Uh, the jaw looks imposing, but it's got a weakness. The hinges. Your harpoon could be the key, but not with that weak jag tip. You need a piece tougher. Something called the talon. And you have it. I know who does. A nuisance of a noose man named Dimrim. And Dimrim could use a little lesson in manners. Him and his whole convoy. Convoy? So I relieve Dimrim of this talon. By force, I reckon. And you and I square? Yeah. Then we be square. All right. Hey, killer! That talon! You do well bringing that to cheat! Yeah, that cocky kid, he knows that kind of stuff. All right. Um... I think I need to go to Jeep first anyway, because I need ammo. Before I can take on a damn convoy. I would assume would be a good idea. Might be a little bit of a struggle to get through the next couple missions, but like I said, I might play this uh, off camera to get a couple more of the upgrades in one of the territories at well, least. And that will also give me some upgrades as far as, uh, I'm just supposed to go to Jeets right now. Is that where I'm going? I don't see any green dots on the map. Why is it? This game does that. I don't know why. It did it before, too. Oh, hey, Ashes to Ashes. I could get the ammo thing over at Gut Gash's territory. I'm going to fast travel to Jeet. But I don't know where I'm supposed to go other than that. It's your oak. Show a glimpse of times past. Take a closer look in the collectibles tab. We got a powder. Alright, so now it's on the map. I needed to come here anyway, which it already filled my thing anyway, so I don't need to go up there and physically do it myself. So now we can go take on the convoy. Alright, where is Stop doing that? That's annoying as shit. Ah, there it is. Took me a minute, but I found it. I found it. Alright, so it's entirely possible that I will die doing this. We destroyed these unholy camps in a scrotus heart! Drinking gasoline is probably not advisable. So, yeah. I might die doing this and I restart, but I'll restart with full health. So, good times. Actually, that, that's not a water one. That's another good thing about the game. It tells you which camps have water and which ones don't. Okay. First of all, that's the wrong thing. Fire that. No. Sneak shot got his gun on us. Uh, it doesn't matter. We're gone. Anymore. All right. So convoys can be very easy or very tough. Um, I imagine since 
this is like the tutorial level convoy. It's not gonna be too hard. I'm gonna go in here because you see the little water droplet on the map on that hand? That means they have water. Hi boys. Oh, I hit that button. Give me that. Ah, I see what happened now. It wasn't that I didn't hit the button. It wasn't that the game was trying to tell me I didn't hit the button. I got shot. Alright. You want to put that away? Thank you. Alright. I think we're good here. And this as well. Down here. There's the water. Oh, it's full. That's going to be useful. See, it left a little tiny bit. My screen just flashed again. I don't know what's going on with that. My computer's probably shitting itself from all the recording and rendering I've been doing. It's gonna get a good cleaning after these are done. Now, fill it up the rest of the way with the rest of this water. And we're done here. Moving on. Let's go take on this convoy now, I guess. There we go. So yeah, like I was saying, convoys can be really easy or really hard. It really just depends on how you approach them. In some situations, they can wind up being super easy because you'll just happen to get to it from the right angle, and it just makes approaching it that much easier. In some situations, especially the later ones in the later territories, they are very heavily armored, and it, it makes things difficult, but not terribly difficult. It's just like situations where like to destroy the entire convoy you have to like harpoon off their tires or destroy vehicles by exploding them. But you might have to harpoon off armor and uh, shoot a barrel on the back of the car. So like, if you don't have the ammo it can get hairy. But this one like I said this being the tutorial it shouldn't be too difficult and hopefully Like I said, in my original playthrough, I had so many upgrades by the time I did this. It moves, convoy. It's on the move. <laughs> the gods are in our favor. The back them up, I said. Look at you. There they are. I'm running out of gas. It's full. I can actually see carries it. Powerful artifact on its hood. As well to wield such a mysterious force. You can also rip people out of their vehicles with the harpoon, which is always fun. Do that. Catch up. Okay. So the the problem I had with convoys was that you'd be driving around and you'd get into combat with one and they would go across the path of other enemies in the game and those enemies would join in the fight and it would just make things difficult and it was a ass. But it shouldn't be too bad. Also, if I remember correctly, if you're doing a convoy Look, like this, percentage. Uh, and you leave it, everything respawns. It's... It's not the most forgiving thing in the game. Also, that happened. 
hurts. Fix the car. Smoke attracts scavengers. I'm gonna get this. There we go. Uh, installed. It's the first one we've gotten. 